Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. We're back with another Saturday Showcase. I'm Matt. And guys, I'm Tim. We're MrMaple.com. We're a mail order Japanese maple nursery. Small family business we ship directly to your door. Check us out, we do over a thousand varieties of Japanese maples and we release 10 new plants every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, today's showcase is gonna be on red, upright Japanese maples. We've got some spectacular sizes in our 10 gallons right now. If you're interested in those, we don't ship them. But if you're coming through the area or local, we are gonna be doing some open hours. Check with our office for open hours. And we're definitely gonna be open on Memorial Day so you can come shop all these in person. Guys, we've got red uprights. Some unique red uprights you're gonna really enjoy today. All right, well, first let's get into it. We're gonna be talking about Acer Palmatum Shinda Sojo. Guys, Shinda Sojo is a fire engine red in the springtime. This plant is not your dark maroons. It's, in more of a, it's an upright Japanese maple that gives you some amazing spring interest of bright, fiery red. Now guys, during the summer, this red upright does grow a little greener during the summer. Get some bronze red new growth during the summer and then some bright red growth with it. During the fall, this thing returns to a bright fire engine red again. The springtime and the fall time are almost identical sometimes in the early spring. This thing can leaf out so bright that it looks just like it's in fall color. People often ask us, they say, is this the spring color or the fall color? Because the spring color is just as dynamic as the fall color on Sinda Sojo. Now, people often ask how Sinda Sojo and DeSojo are different, and they are very similar. Uh, you know, we, we think that Sinda Sojo may have even been a seedling from DeSojo. DeSojo is a classic older cultivar for bonsai. It does have more of a bronzing appeal to it in the early spring. I would say the Shinda Sojo has more of a pinkish hue to it. So they're very similar. They do have a ver very similar dynamic. Uh, many say that the Shinda Sojo is a little faster growing at closer to a foot and a half, so a little faster in its vigor. Shin actually is a Japanese word meaning improved. So you'll see that a lot of times on plants. When someone thinks they've made an improvement, they'll say Shin. Uh, for us, the Sojo is just as popular and very highly sought after for bonsai. Either of these are gonna be great plants to air layer or do rooted cuttings of for bonsai though. One of the things I love about this plant though is just the dynamic color this tree puts out in the landscape. The bright fire engine reds in the spring are exceptional. And it's also a plant that is extremely heat tolerant. That means this is a plant that can handle much higher heat than many of the other Japanese maples. Check out our full, we've got a full series on heat tolerant Japanese maples, part one through maybe four or five at this point of some great heat tolerant Japanese maples. And Shinta Sojo is definitely one of them. I mean, this plant puts out an amazing display of bright red. I actually have one customer in South Carolina that put these out and then put Michael Steinhardt out oh, as wow. well. And so he's got a fire engine red display in the spring with bright yellow in contrast. You know I love the color yellow and it contrasts so well with these Shinda Sojos. I mean, you plant summer gold or something around that, it's gonna look even more crazy than it really is. And it is pretty, a pretty crazy color bring this brighter picked up red. Super high intensity in that spring garden. We're actually filming this in late April. We're still got a lot of that salmon pink, like shrimp pink, almost new growth color on it. I actually like this tree a lot. Tim mentioned the summer, but I actually think it's one of its showiest times. You kind of get a, a mauve different color green. You get a very odd colored green, but then you get this intense pink new growth over top of that. I think it's one of the times when this tree contrasts with itself a lot. It's one of the times when bonsais of Shinda Sojo look extremely cool because the new growth is really showing out. And uh, it's just a great tree, whether it's spring, summer, or fall, it's gonna be a red upright that adds a lot to your landscape. Now do note that if you're watching this one, you know, sometimes late summer, it can be more green, even though we've thrown in the red uprights. Now, people often say that maples are beautiful because of their ever-changing beauty. And that's exactly what this one does. It tells you the different seasons with the springtime with the fire engine red color, the summer with that bronze green with that red new growth coming across it and then in the fall returning to that fire engine red it's constantly changing which adds an extra dynamic in the garden and landscape all right guys let's check out another red upright on today's showcase all right guys here we're hearing a great set of acer palmatum twombly's red sentinel same plant you may have seen listed sometimes as red sentinel but twombly's is the correct name twombly's red sentinel guys when i talked with ken twombly of connecticut he had Twombly's Nursery in Connecticut. And what he did is he found this as what he thought was a witch's broom. And when he grafted this and then evaluated it, he realized it grew tall and narrow like a sentinel. And so it became Twombly's Red Sentinel. 
Guys, this is my favorite red upright for a columnar or skinny location. This tree makes, you know, just a sentinel there in the garden, so it's perfectly named. It is a tall, narrow structure. Uh, if you don't prune the central leader on this one, you can get a very narrow habit to it. And I think growing it in a little bit more sunlight also lends that narrow habit very well. If you're pruning this one back very heavy, you might get a lot of uh, multi-stemming going on, which can lead to a little bit more width on this one. But when it's grown properly, it can be one of the most narrow and dynamic Japanese maples in the landscape. I have seen some on the West Coast fertilize this tree quite a bit, and this tree can get a little wider than it normally does. But if you let this tree grow at its natural pace, it has more of those short and center nodes. And when you see more of those short and center nodes, you see that tighter, compact habit. If you're selecting a Twombly's, only purchase one with short and center nodes. For sure. And that really shows it's got that tighter, compact habit and that really narrow shape. And when you do that, you've got a tree that can use in many different places in the landscape. It's just a flagpole of color. I mean, it, it has almost that, that fire glow appearance to it, mm -hmm. where it has a little bit of orange to the backside, cherry red in the spring, maroon during the summer, and then a fire engine red in the fall. And it kind of glows a little bit out there in the landscape. Guys, this is a great tree for holding that red deep into the season, even in the deep south. This tree holds a very good red coloration to it. As you see them right now, we're actually, you know, in that late April time frame. They're a very nice color, but it's going to hold that exceptionally well into the summer. And then it goes to a bold cherry red in the fall. So the fall color is also exceptional. Any Japanese maples can get a little green in that late August to September time frame, right before fall color. But I would put Twombly's Red Sentinel up there as one of the premium fall and red colors for holding late into the season. I know a lot of people are looking for Japanese maples to go around the corners of their homes or out in the garden. And this tree is so usable because while it grows upwards, it stays extremely narrow, meaning it doesn't provide a lot of shade or give shade to other trees or plants around, but it gives a unique texture just as a flagpole of color out there. But by putting this on a corner of a house or something, you can break up some of your plantings along the foundation of your house and give a unique texture and good color and something that's not gonna to grow too wide and grow out into your walkway. For all these reasons, I find Twombly's Red Sentinel to be one of the quintessential columnar narrow Japanese maples. It fits in so many spaces. As gardeners, we're running out of space everywhere in the garden. And if you still want some height, but you're out of room, you know, think about a Twombly's Red Sentinel. It's gonna fill that void perfectly and give you some height, some structure in the garden. You know, columnar trees are great because they draw the eye upward, they add depth to the garden room we're creating, and so you can build that platform, but you're raising the garden up. Even if you have a smaller garden, now you've got the structure that draws the eye upward, even without a lot of width. I mean, the use of vertical interest with Twombly's Red Sentinel, anybody can use this in their garden. Flanking a walkway on both sides, creating just a dynamic vertical interest like you're talking about, around the foundation of a home, there's so many cool ways to use this, especially as the landscape is ever shrinking. Hope you all enjoy this Twombly's Red Sentinel in your garden. Let's go check up another Red Upright. All right, y'all, we're here with Acer Palmatum Hefner's Red. Now, this is one of the most quintessential heat tolerant upright reds. In fact, it's one of the highest performers in high heat climates like Texas. So if you're looking for a high heat red upright, Hefner's Red may be the perfect choice for you. So Hefner's Red is a plant that Brian grew out in Oklahoma. He always talked about how heat tolerant it was. If you know anything about Oklahoma, it's pretty hot. But this plant holds its color real well throughout the season. I mean, this is one of our most heat tolerant reds when it comes to a red upright Japanese maple. But it gives you a dark, dark maroon all summer long. Now, Hefner's Red is an upright, but it's also very multi-stem. So this tree has a very wide canopy to it making it a great upright for an area you want to fill out with some space. You know, the tree is typically, uh, I would say, just a little bit smaller in width than it is in height. So it makes a larger canopy for an upright red and is exceptionally heat tolerant. So it helps shade out other Japanese maples in your landscape as well. Now, you may not know this, but this was selected by Hugh Hefner at the Playboy Mansion. He named this one on one of the episodes, I think, of the show where they talk to the bunnies. Uh, no, no. This is actually a selection by Hefner's Nursery in North Carolina. They're actually not far from here. And this was a chance red upright seedling that they had had. They'd planted it in one of their gardens and it just turned out to be an exceptional red upright. Come on dude, we'll sell more of them if we say it was Hugh Hefner. <laughs> and they grafted it, got into the nursery trade because of how much this tree, how it performed in their garden. Little did they know it was gonna be so heat tolerant, performed so well all across the country. Yeah, Hefner's is a great nursery here in North Carolina. We're actually good friends with them. They were telling me the story that they originally bought the seeds from Lowry's and they'd gotten scattered out out of a seed bed 
And the grandfather kept looking at this one seedling in every single season, and it kept being the reddest Japanese maple in the entire nursery. And over time, they said, we've got to graft this and get it going. And that's what became Hefner's Red. That's the true story behind this tree. It's an exceptional plant and one that shows very little leaf burn in Dallas, Texas. So it's a great plant for you people in high heat zones that want a high intensity red. Great color, great durability on this one too. It's going to hold that color late into the summer very well and then give you a bright, bright fire engine red fall color as well. Guys, if you're looking for a heat tolerant red upright, look no further than Hefner's Red. This is a plant you're definitely going to enjoy. And if you just like that deep purple color out in the landscape, it does that all by itself. So put this plant, give it some sunlight. Sunlight really picks up the red colors on this. And this is a plant you're sure to enjoy. Check out our full video. We've got a cultivar highlight of this in front of a specimen at Hillstone Arboretum. It was actually Brian's very first video. He came to visit us before he was working here. And we said, hey, you want to be in a, one of our videos? And he was right there in our cultivar spotlight of Hefner's Red. Guys, if we've earned it, definitely give us a like, share, and a subscribe. We appreciate all of our regulars. You guys are awesome. You make those live chats and the premieres so much fun. And you guys are awesome at sharing our content. It means a lot to us. And if you're new here and you think we've earned it, like I said, definitely sign up for a subscription to our channel. Just hit sub. We put out daily content seven days a week on Japanese maples and a lot more cool and interesting plants. So I think you're going to want to be a part of that. Smash that like button, y'all. We'd really appreciate it. And remember to shop with us at Mr. Maple. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.